Hey yo, T Fail, I'm back with another freaking video. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe. Make sure you join the game. I ain't gonna take too long with this intro because I just wanna get straight into the video. Make sure you subscribe. I got a giveaway going on. The giveaway in July 10th. Let's get right into the freaking video. So it was a beautiful afternoon. Me and my brother sitting in the front row playing that game. You know, chopping it up, laughing and joking and stuff like that. You get what I'm saying? So we supposed to clean the house before my mom and them walked in the house. So we just playing the game and stuff like that. Me and my brother, we just chilling. So we hear our mama walking up the stairs, coming to the door. And here she come, coming in the house with all that yelling and that screaming. So my mama walk in the house, right? She walk in the door. She look in the kitchen. She look at us. We sitting on the couch playing the game. So she look at us. We look at her. And so she proceeds to cussing. Why every time I come up in this motherfucker house, this house ain't goddamn clean. I'm sick of this. I asked y'all to do one motherfucker thing and the house ain't motherfucker clean. I'm sick of this. I'm gonna kick y'all out this motherfucking house. This house ain't never clean every time I come up in here. Y'all sitting here playing the game. It's okay. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I'm leaving. Don't even worry about cleaning it up. I got it. Don't worry about it. So we just look back at her like, Mom, what is you talking about? I look at my brother like, what is she talking about? You knew. How she knew? How you knew she was coming home this early, bro? You knew she was coming home this early. That's what I tell my brother. He said that we arguing back and forth because she just still cussing in the background. Because every time I ask y'all motherfucking asses to do something, y'all ain't doing nothing but sitting on y'all motherfucking ass playing this game. I'm going to get the internet cut off. And next, I'm going to get the cable cut off. And y'all going to go live with y'all grandma because I'm sick of y'all. I'm sick of y'all. Y'all don't do nothing but sit there and complain and don't do nothing I don't tell y'all to do. I'm just, go clean the shit up now. Now, go. So now me and my brother just done in the hallway trying then to see y'all who can clean what. Do Why she even Y'all got y'all motherfucking yelling. faces it's all balled no up. I'm going to give you a reason how your she face balled up. I'm going to break that little game you got set up in that front room. And when you come home from school, I'm going to take that little phone of yours. You ain't going to be able to do nothing. You ain't going to be able to call nobody. You ain't going to be able to text nobody. So I'm going to give you a reason how your little face balled up looking all ugly. And y'all better go clean my motherfucking house. And it better be clean before I get back and this is my the fucking half the way it's supposed to be i'ma just go do it so now so now it's nighttime we all sleeping all i hear when she come through the front door ta get your motherfucking ass up and come clean this kitchen this kitchen don't supposed to be clean like that get your ass up now i just roll over mad as hell and shit i get him mad as hell shit thought i cleaned that shit right and here come my brother and shit Nah, nanny boo boo, that's why she only called you, that's why you gotta clean it up. Stefan, get your motherfucking ass up and go help her clean that damn kitchen up. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe. Comment down below if you want me to do some more videos like that. I'm sorry, a lot of cursing in it. Um, Please forgive me for all my elderly people that's watching this video. I apologize. <laughs> If you know me and if you know my mama, woo, you know she like to curse. So I apologize. Um, I actually enjoyed making a video like that. So just let me know if you would like some more videos like that. I enjoyed making it. It was fun making a video like that. Um, it was actually actually that was really my first time cutting a video up, making a video like that. I always wanted to do one like that. So I actually did one. So I think I'm going to keep doing a couple of more of them. You know, switch up the switch up the scenery, switch up the game of my videos. Because, I mean, I am posting every day this month. And so far, we're only on like day five of this month. And I got 31 days. It's 31 days in this month. And we're only on day five. So we got a lot of days to go. So, if you like if you like me doing these type of videos, make sure you comment down below. Maybe I can get some more people to join in on my video, you know, 
so it can be more you know more realistic but i did it on my own so it was my first time it was kind of a rough cut of it so if you enjoyed it please comment down below tell me what part you enjoyed of this video i will be doing some more in the freaking future it was fun to make it took me a while but it was so short because I mean, it was my first time doing it. Like I said a few minutes ago, it was my first time doing it. So it took it took a lot of a lot of um how can I put it? It took a lot of movie scenery changing clothes. It took a it, it took a lot out of me that I wasn't used to. So basically, right now I'm stepping out my element of you know just doing plain old reaction videos, plain old laughing and giggling and fun videos i'm just stepping out of my comfort zone a little bit and i kind of liked it the editing it was pretty fun but like i said it takes it's a lot but i am gonna start showing y'all like my roots or like everything like i love editing videos that's one thing i love doing um again like it was just it was just fun making a video, but it, it does it does require a lot of work. When you feel like let me let me put it this way. When you feel like you have a long minute of material, you don't. You only have like a good like I promise you when I made the video, when I was making it, I'm like, yeah, roughly I got a good uh I got a good ten minutes of footage. Perfect. And once you get to chopping and editing everything up, I literally, it's literally only three, not even three minutes. It's literally only two minutes of that whole skit put together. That's literally two rough minutes of my whole skit put together. So that just shows that like doing skits like that, you have to think about it. It takes time to do. You get what I'm saying? Like, you have to think it out. You have to think out the material. As you can see, like, like I said, like, I'm new to it. So, like, some of, like, you know, my wording and stuff was off. So, you know, it's one of those things. It's just, like, I'm still, like I said, I'm still trying to learn. I had a lot of fun doing it. I would not lie to you. I had a lot of fun doing it. My girlfriend texted me. She always texted me while I'm doing videos all the time. All the freaking time. She said okay. <laughs> All the freaking time. But um I will be doing some more of these videos instead of just giving y'all plain videos. Plain videos are boring. Just videos of me sitting down talking. I want to be different. I'm gonna be different. That's why I'm stepping out my comfort zone right now. I'm I'm starting to um well let me break it down. For I have been I have been going hard for the past five days, strong making YouTube videos. I'm grinding it out. I'm pushing them through. I'm not gonna lie. I'm actually starting to get in the groove of liking a vlog every day. Like I'm 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 not gonna lie. I'm starting to like to get in the groove because that means like it's it's, it's showing my grind. It's showing my hustle that I'm true to you guys. Like. Like I said, like in the beginning of me really want to start YouTube. I stopped and started YouTube at least twice. I started in 2017 when I first graduated out of high school. I started. And I was having my doubts because it wasn't it wasn't growing the way I wanted to grow. But as I started doing my research on more on more YouTubers and everything like that, everyone was saying the same exact thing. You gotta stay consistent. You have to put content out at least every week. You have to. You have to stay consistent. That's the only way it's gonna work. And so I restarted again in 2019, which is last year. Me and my little cousin. Lil Tony, which is my team T2 channel, which is down in my description below. That's me and my cousin Lil Tony. We team T2. So me and him started, but me and him started so late in the summer. By him being younger than me, I had already graduated high school. He was just starting high school, so me and him always spent the summer together. So basically, we started we started vlogging. We started doing YouTube at the end of the summer, which means he basically had to get up and he had to go home for school. 
So basically, he lived, he lived out south. I lived out west in Chicago, and so it's a, it was a good like forty five minutes in between us. Drive time was a good thirty minutes. Bus time well forty five minutes to an hour. It was a good distance in between us, so we really wasn't vlogging the way we should have been, cause we started so late in the summer. But we was we we was when we started posting. Like, our account was going up. Our numbers was going up. It was going up. We only were, like, at, like, 80 right now. But our number was moving when we started posting consistently. And so, within the end of 2019, I started back on my own channel, which, as you can see down below, I started with my own channel. And so, I was constantly posting. And so, the reason why I did, I did stop posting, as y'all seen in the previous video, in, a, in the videos before, that my mother had got sick, so I wanted to focus my full hard devotion time on my mother. Because, you know, I never knew when it was going to be the end of, you know, so I, I just wanted to spend all my time with my mother. So, I, I had to put the camera down. As you can see in a video on the third it was the beginning of a horrible year. Like, I was, me and my mom was going to the doctor every day. Like, as you can see, like, I was trying, I was trying my hardest to finish vlogs. Like, I was, I was really trying, but it was just the simple fact of, I couldn't get in a groove of it because I knew my mom was sick. And I knew, like, it was getting worse. Like, I tried to, I tried to vlog the day of her funeral, like, the day at the day of her funeral, like the night of the funeral, everything I tried to like, I tried my hardest to like get up and push and do it. I just couldn't do it, you know. It's just certain things you just can't do. And so now, um, I feel like I'm in a strong state in my life right now. Like I have a strong mindset of what I want and what I want to do right now. And so I want to be devoted to you guys. Like it's no stopping me now. Like, it's like you can find so many excuses to stop doing what you want to do. Only person that's stopping you is you. Like, I can sit here and say, I stopped vlogging because my mom was sick. Yes, I did. But guess what? It was times where I had downtime to get up and go vlog. You get on something, I get up and get off my butt and go vlog. But no, I say to my mother. But that's what I chose to do. Because in the long run, that's me. If I did not put the camera down and stop and do it, I was going to be upset with myself. Because come to find out my mom did pass away. My mom was getting sick at the time that I was flowing. Like, I started constantly to post every day. My mother was getting sick. She was getting worse. And when I saw it, I stopped. I decided to take a step back. And do it because it was just one of the things I was going to regret that. That was going to be in my heart for the rest of my life that I didn't I didn't sit aside my, my plans just to spend these last couple of days, these this last month, these last months with my mother. Nobody knows when the time is up, but I just felt like I did the right thing at the end of the day. But what this talk is telling you is no matter what, you have to follow your dreams. Life goes on. It does. I am living proof. When I was in Chicago throughout January, January all the way until March, until my birthday, I was down. I was, I wouldn't even say I was depressed. Because I wasn't depressed because I had family around me who didn't let me get depressed. I had my girlfriend. I had my family. I always had people in my corner making sure I was straight. So I had they never gave me room to get depressed. But what I can say, I, I felt like, I felt like, and I know I was at my lowest in my life. Because I lost my mother, then I turned around and lose my brother. Yes, I was at my lowest point. But what I'm telling you is right now. Do not give up. You do find light at the end of the freaking tunnel. And what I'm telling you is, out of all my pain and hurt, I have found the freaking light. I'm not saying I found heaven. I found Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm not saying that. What I'm telling you is, days are bad. Days are horrible. Some days are freaking terrible for me. 
but I still see the light. I still, I will, I kid you not, I will cry my eyes out probably later on tonight. But guess what? I'm going to get up and I'm going to keep going because at the end of the day, I got a goal I want to reach. And I'm going to reach my goal no matter what. My mama knew I wanted to do YouTube and YouTube, oh we. You already know. I'm about to put it on for my city and for my family. That's it. That's all. Okay? So never give up. You got to keep pushing no matter what. You hit a hump in the road. Guess what? You going to get you a Jeep or you going to get you a Hummer or you going to drive over that hump? Because guess what I did? I got my Jeep Wrangler and I drove over that hump in my life and I'm going to keep going. I'm sorry for the motivational speech, but I'm out of here. Giveaway July 10th. That's when it ends. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe. Comment down below if you like today's skit. I'm going to hit you with another one.